My research focuses mostly on financial crises and specifically how various government policies in the housing market can lead to a buildup of systemic risk in the economy and cause housing booms and busts. My paper is called Too Much Skin in the Game. The theoretical part of the paper essentially just looks at 2008 to try to understand what happened there. We're seeing similar patterns now, even though we've addressed certain issues in the housing market. And here's one thing that we've missed, which is essentially just the really big size of certain institutions in the mortgage market. When house prices are already falling and default rates are rising, they sort of seem to be doubling down on their bet. This is happening in exactly areas where they have a lot of market power and a lot of outstanding mortgage exposure. We see Fannie and Freddie actually like triple their lending in an attempt to keep the housing market going, but essentially that eventually just makes the crisis worse. We see a lot of households taking out mortgages again, which have very, very high leverage ratios. If house prices fall, we might once again see multiple households who are very levered begin to default. We've had a lot of legislation come in um, in the form of Dodd-Frank, but it's mostly focused when it comes to size on banks because they were considered too big to fail. And it really hasn't focused on Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Um, so currently their exposure to the U.S. housing market, they own close to 80% of all U.S. mortgage debt, which is much higher than what we saw at the height of the housing crisis. And that's an issue because if there's some, if there are incentives that these institutions have to make risky mortgage loans, we want to make sure that we regulate in a way that they don't have those incentives anymore.